there was 200 grand tanks here, built in a, oh, roughly about the 40s, and um, a well. And I got sick of maintaining drains all the time, spraying and whatever, and going into the tanks. Got sick of the water quality. 5,000 square metres, works on a millimetre per square metre, is a litre. To what rate, rainfall you're sitting on here? What are you? Oh, about 275 mils. What have you got for your storage at the moment? You've got the two underground tanks that runs into and then you pump her up to a... Yeah, to a, a, a big bigger one. tank. Yep, what uh, size is that? That's uh, close to 60,000 gallons. Okay. And then I pump around the farm okay. to 5,000 gallon storage tanks. So they gravitate to the troughs. Have you got enough tanks for what you're catching? No, nah, too much water for <laughs> enough tanks. But you're catching too much water? Yeah, okay. oh, it's overflowing all the time. Yeah. About 300,000 gallons I need, roughly. You've got the, the tods of the mains that come up here, yeah. we know it can be pretty harsh, so if you notice any difference in, in sheep you know, consumption? There was two mobs of sheep, all but the same, and two 5,000 gallon tanks. One was tod in it, yep. mains, and uh, the other one was fresh water, and there was a quarter to a third left in the rainwater when the, the tod one was empty. It was about 15 and a half grand to set the whole show up, so my water bill was over 10 grand a year, so it should see me out, so I should be on top of it within a, another year, so within two years it's all done. Your tank, what was that, another 16? Yeah, 15, no, 16. 16. Another sump is about 10 grand, plus earth moving, you know, to dig a hole, and that'll hold about a quarter of a million gallons. Plastic moves in and out with the hot and cold, so yeah, it wouldn't take long to wear a hole in it if there was a jagged rock or a stick or something there. There's rock under there where of mine is, graded it off with a grader, uh -huh. and then viber packed it with a roller, push the rocks down and brought the soft dirt up. The sheep always seem to be hanging around the, the troughs. I just thought there's got to be a better way. And so now you just see dribs and drabs coming in for a drink because they know they've got water there and big quality, you know, like high volume of water. You don't need the long troughs, so, no. so how are you getting the water out the trough in uh, the tank in the trough? A two inch hose, doesn't take very long to fill up. And it does push the stuff to the other end of the trough. It did a bit of fine dirt or something on there. They seem to drink more of the trough now rather than just out the ball float. You've got a windmill that is something used in the past, so you've got a, a solar pump here. What's it on wheels for? So I can move it to other places, underground tanks, and I want to put in more black plastic on other farms, so I can move it wherever I want it. If the windmill breaks down, well, just wheel her up. I'll be making more water in points. So you're pretty well convinced that that's uh, working well for you? Oh, it's going to last for 20, 25 years.